Thank you, uh, Secretary Ben Jopno, for uh, your introduction. Uh, the members of uh, the cabinet who have uh, come here, please, please, uh, this is, <laughs> who have come to join us uh, this evening, uh, Vice President Sara Duterte, and uh, a member of the Philippine delegation, House uh, Speaker Martin Romualdez, as of course, uh, Pasay City Representative. Antonino Calixto and uh, Mayor Imelda Calixto Rubian. Uh, good evening. Uh, and uh, the Armed Forces of the Philippines Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Bartolome Bacaro, other major service commanders, the uh, PNP Chief uh, General Juna Surin, fellow workers in public service, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm uh, very happy that. Uh, I am able to uh, report uh, the uh, results of the 29th uh, APEC leaders uh, meeting in, uh, uh, that I, I have just come back from in Bangkok. Uh, it was, uh, of course, we uh, discussed uh, with, the, with the other leaders all of the uh, issues that our countries have been facing are, and are facing and what possible solutions we have uh, for the problems that we see uh, that are upcoming. And uh, the most important thing that uh, I, uh, I was able to, to surmise or to, uh, to, to understand from this meeting was uh, very simple, that it is uh, very encouraging because the problems as we have identified them seem to be the same problems for most of the countries. In other words, in other words we have a consonance of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, views uh, and analysis on the, uh, the things that are to be of concern. And furthermore, the solutions uh, for that are things that we now for, have, have formulated. Uh, of course, the subject of climate change, the subject of supply chains, the subject of food supply, the subject of digitalization, uh, the empowerment of women, these were the, some of the issues that, uh, that were discussed. And it, uh, uh, it, is a very, it was a very uh, uh, useful and productive uh, process because, as I said, uh, we have now a way forward for all of us members of APEC. And uh, these, uh, this includes uh, the United States, it includes the Russian Federation, it includes uh, Australia, Canada, um, New Zealand. And so it's not the, just the ASEAN, but all of these, uh, um, all of these um, other, uh, other countries around the Pacific. So, it was really uh, very much a world forum, uh, the, so it, it was very, that, the, that we could hear from uh, uh, countries from very different, from very far apart, uh, what they, uh, what the, the uh, issues that they are facing, that they would like to partner with, uh, uh, with APEC and with uh, specific countries in solving. And these are, this is essentially the idea of unity, the idea of, as it was, uh, as we refer to it, is apex and ASEAN centrality. And that uh, concept uh, seems to be, we are, seem, we are all in agreement that that concept is important for us to be able to face the future which is going to be 
uh, rather tumultuous in the next perhaps year. Uh, besides the plenary sessions that we had, that we had, where we hear from every single member economy, as it is referred to, uh, besides that, we I had my I had several bilateral meetings. Uh, simply, uh, bilateral meetings are meetings that you have uh, direct one-on-one -on -one with another leader of another country, uh, outside, sort of uh, on the fringes rather, of uh, the uh, of the uh, summit. And that was also very useful because, uh, in, in a sense, uh, one of the most important things, at least for me, was uh, to, to the, the reason I thought that I must attend uh, these uh, conferences. Is one is that I know now I can, I, I have spoken to, I have discussed many issues with all the leaders of our region of the Asia Pacific. So that is, an, they know, they now know me, and they know. Uh, what I'm about, we have discussed uh, things. They know what the Philippine position is on several, on several uh, issues. And the bilateral meetings that are held on the side of the, um, of the uh, actual summit, the bilateral meetings are for us to forge uh, stronger relations with different countries. Uh, well, up to, as I said, once again, France, uh, uh, President Macron was there. Uh, and we had a very fruitful uh, discussion, and Canada, which is, as you, you would think, was very far away, but nonetheless has involved in self, itself uh, very much in the APEC. So this kind of partnerships uh, that, that I have spoken about before, uh, it turns out, is uh, also the way forward as the APEC leaders see it. The bilateral, the bilateral meetings that we had, we were able to s tackle specifics um, in terms of the relationship between our two countries, where we could help each other. I asked, I asked, uh, I asked that, uh, about agriculture, I would ask about energy, I would, uh, depending on who, um, uh, who, we, were, who we were meeting, I, uh, uh, we were even able uh, to get an agreement from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for the um, payment of the, the claimants who have not been able to be paid because uh, the pandemic uh, bankrupted their employer. Uh, so that is a, it's a, a, a tangible uh, thing that, that's a, that was as a result of the bila bilaterals. The, there are new agreements that we are going to pursue, to develop uh, with, with Canada and with France, possibly. Uh, there, of course, with uh, uh, with, with, the, with the other bilaterals that we had, um, we, were, we are going to, uh, we have been able to, uh, again, state our country's positions. And again, uh, it has uh, been quite gratifying to see that uh, we are at least, uh, there are several, uh, to each problem, there were several different approaches. But there was a central principled scientific approach that uh, to the different problems that we were uh, that, that, that we were discussing, the overarching global concern for everyone is and should be global uh, the climate change issues that are coming. Every discussion that we had, you can talk about the economy, you can talk about geopolitics, you can talk about anything. You can talk about, you go into detail, you talk about fisheries, you talk about governance, you talk about anything. And the subject of climate change will make itself felt. And so, again, this is something that we uh, all seem to have realized and we have uh, uh, come together to, uh, to, to, do, to, to, to try to mitigate. And since we are essentially uh, the, 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 shall we say, since we are essentially the developed countries that have uh, not, cannot be said to have put, put the world in this situation, uh, the, it is also up to us to go to those developed countries who have the, had their development, uh, but unfortunately had uh, without our, we, because we, did, we were ignorant of such things, we, uh, uh, they ended up changing the, the weather in 
the world and for them to assist developing countries who have not been a contributor to uh, global warming, to carbon gas emissions, to carbon emissions, and uh, all the um, all the other uh, activities that has caused uh, the, the the weather to change and for these disasters to be happening. So again, uh, that was, that was really the overarching uh, um, subject. We of course the economy. Uh, you, you start off talking about the economy. You end up uh, somehow at some point talking about uh, climate change, and so I think uh, mm, there will be a very strong push. Uh, the the APEC countries have uh, really said that we have many agreements that are in place, but there's very little that has been actually done, and so that is going to be the push by APEC, by ASEAN, by the Asia Pacific countries. And then in the, the, before we left, we, of course, um, all managed to meet with the Filipino community in, uh, uh, in Bangkok. We had a very enthusiastic crowd. And as ever, it was, uh, uh, after all, the serious and uh, very, uh, very uh, uh, important uh, discussions. Uh, it was a breath of, it's always a breath of fresh air to spend time with them. Uh, fellow Pinoys around the world. So uh, that essentially, uh, the, these are the broad strokes of uh, the uh, trip that we have just come back from. And uh, there's much that we can start to develop uh, because one of the, some of the bilaterals were with private corporations. Uh, we were entertained by uh, private, corpor uh, pri private corporations who want to invest in the Philippines. So those are the things that we have to follow up. Uh, we have uh, much to do to, uh, to play our part in APEC, and we will uh, undertake all that so that uh, uh, we will contribute to the success of this region. Because the ultimate, uh, in terms of the economies, the uh, ultimate uh, aspiration is for uh, the APEC region, Asia-Pacific region, to return to its old role as the driver of the global economy. And if we do all of the things that we are planning to do, that will come back again. And uh, we, once again, will be, um, uh, will be at the forefront of uh, the global economy. So that is uh, uh, what we are working towards, and that is what we had tried to develop in, uh, uh, in Bangkok. Thank you very much, and uh, good evening.